Hi all and welcome to Empire Toys 1138's NEC Toy Fair vid. Right guys, me and Vic went to the NEC Toy Fair. We had a really good time walking about. First time in about, I'd say over five years that I was able to actually walk around that fair as a buyer, not a seller, which was good. It was nice seeing all the old faces there and meeting some new guys. It was good meeting you guys. Um, check out the vid, see what we got up to, and then after we'll uh, see what we found. Yeah, no worries. Okay. It's fine, Yeah, isn't it? The thing is, if I use the card, it means I don't see the cash, because it's a little bad, isn't it? You know we're not eating for like the rest of the month. Cheers, man. That's Tom from Bizarro Faces. You might have seen him on TV. Is that your new camera? Alright, boss, how's it going? Yeah, too much. It is indeed. Hopefully it stays like this though. Sorry? Hopefully it stays like this. Yeah. I just done a full set of Power Rangers in their box 
know if I could. You could do on it, right? Got a ten on. Um, eight. You're right. Are you quick for your boy? Cheers, buddy. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. See you later. Have a good day.
Uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of video. Um, it's good fair, very good fair, very busy as you can see. So I tried to uh, cut down as much of the walking about as possible. 
just kept it to the uh, stalls just to keep it slim line. Anyway, we'll go through what we found. Um, so obviously I'm here on my own uh, without Vic. So this is just what I got, not what she got for herself. Um, but yeah, so guys, it was seriously good, uh, good, uh, good haul. Right. So let's start off with what's in this bag. So as you saw from the video from uh, Davy's Toy Loft, which is good meeting you, mate. Good meeting you. Uh, for the first time, I got this cool little uh, Power Ranger wallet, 1994 Saban. It's a cool wallet. Still got his backing card on it, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, there's a uh, no hidden money in it, no hidden gems. But it's a cool little wallet. I think I had one of these very similar when I was a kid. So that cost me eight quid for the collection. So sort of things I'm sort of looking at now. I've kind of gone off the figures and I'm focusing more on sort of the promotional stuff so that was a cool find. Going along with the promotional stuff I got this off Tom from Bizarre Pieces so cheers for that mate. Some party favours from back in the day. I think oh, you probably can't see but there is a couple of these already in the shelf so it was cool to get like a box one. If you guys remember when you went to your uh, mates' parties, you uh, got a little party bag at the end of the day, and obviously these were the little back in the day. These were the kind of things you had. You can see there, the little to and froms on the back. On the little cut out. So that was a cool thing. So thanks, mate. Again, the sort of thing I'm looking at in my collection now. There uh, we go. Carrying on the Power Rangers line. And I can't go anywhere without finding a Green Ranger. And this is something I don't have for my collection. It's a uh, Bendy. So it needs a bit of a clean up, which I'll uh, do before putting it in the shelf. Got this stuff from uh, Rob from Tats and Toys. So cheers for that, mate. And you can see he's uh, stalling the video next to Tom from Bizarre Pieces. Um, which is also next to another Rob uh, from Robo Toys. Again, it's cool meeting you, mate. Cool meeting you. Cool seeing you again. Um, but yeah, cheers for that. It only cost me 50p. And it'll, uh, it'll go somewhere on the uh, Green Ranger shelf, as you can see there. So that's cool. Cheers for that, mate. Carrying on with the Power Rangers. Right. This box has seen better days. But I am going to try my best to restore it. Try and get these creases out. But what it is, it's the, uh, it's the kicking action Red Ranger. So you can see his action works. So they did the kicking one, the karate one, and they just do the normal standing ones. Um, comes with his gun. The actual figure itself is in a very good condition, which is cool. Um, look again, the box has seen better days, but it's cool to have some uh, Power Ranger actual box stuff to go for the collection. Um, like I said, I tend to be moving on to the more promotional stuff, but I got this for six quid, so I can't really complain really, it's only six quid. But like I said, I'm gonna try my best to um, fix this box up. So if any of you guys know any good box repairing hacks, let me know in the comments. Otherwise I might just uh, Stick some more cardboard inside just to puff it out. That's cool, only six quid. Moving away from the Power Rangers for a little bit. But don't worry, we'll be coming back to it. It's at the bottom of the bag. Find it out. So I'll pick these off from just a random stall. It's a cool, uh, Kenner Alien and a uh, sort of a heavy metal Kenner Predator. Uh, the two of them, fiver for both of them. So that was pretty cool. I might resell them, not too sure. Fortunately, I think his tusk, no, his tusk is supposed to be snapped, if I remember rightly. But yeah, no, I think I might. I keep um gnaw about maybe. See, I moved off from Star Wars and I moved back onto Power Rangers. 
very tempted to maybe my next line of stuff to collect is the Kenner range of Alien and Predators which will be annoying because I've sold a lot of them uh, back to the Power Rangers again this is what's coming out next so Vic, not, not my Vic, Vic from Fistful of Collectibles messaged me and said I've got these little bits for you little token of goodwill, so I've got a spare sword for the Thunder Mega Sword which is always good to have which I think I've got a couple of which I actually need that, which is good and this is again for my collection so if you remember from my last, not my last video, from my Totten Toy Fair video I managed to get the white Battle Borg Power Ranger Sword so now I have the black one um, they're obviously missing their weapons and everything but I'm not too bothered um, it would be cool to find the actual Alien Ranger line for these but um, at the moment, slow and steady little build up on these until I get the full set. Well, it's a bit different for me. Don't normally get this sort of stuff. I find it at the car boot. I normally pick it up, but um, yeah, I don't really go out and buy this. Now, this is um, if you guys don't already follow him, eighties uh, underscore Bobby. Bobby underscore eighties. I'll put the link in below. But um, back uh, back in February, I went around his house in Orlando, and uh, he showed me his collection. These are mad Ghostbusters, man. So hopefully, going to be popping by in January. So I thought I picked him up a few presents. So I've got these wicked real Ghostbuster cards uh, to play snap with. Um, I hope they're all there. But they're, they're cool, like the cool little promotional stuff. Ecto. But it's just a little sort of present for him, just to say, like, thanks for having us over. It's made by uh, Waddington's, Waddington's, however you say it. 1984 Columbian Pictures. So it's a cool little game. And cool sort of niche kind of little thing that I know he likes. Also, I picked up this. Wicked pencil case. Again from the real Ghostbusters. So it's even got its little plastic cell tag on it. It's cool. Nothing inside unfortunately. Apart from someone's name. So this used to belong to Kate. Well Kate, I have uh, now got your pencil case. Again, cool little finds. Little niche kind of little promotional gear is actually quite um quite a cool thing to find. You can find figures everywhere but this sort of stuff doesn't come up as much. <laughs> Another thing I picked up just for a joke again some real Ghostbusters braces. So when you know when you've dappered up, got your suit out you can put on your uh, Ghostbuster braces. So they're cool, cool for kids, age two to seven, nah, age whatever you want it to be. 1984 Columbia Pictures. Hasn't got on it who actually made it. I'm guessing cool for kids is the company's name. So it's a cool little few bits, a little present for him just to say thank you. So if you're watching mate, there you go, they're yours. This is the White Movie Ranger. Power Ranger uh, from the toy fair, toy line that came out for the movie. For the... Now um, I got this from Jamorian Toys. If I said your name right, John, um, I gave him a free Dino Rider that I found, and he repaid the favour by giving me a free movie White Ranger, which I'm very happy about because I've already again you probably can't see, but I've got blue, black, and red down there, which I got when I was in Wolverhampton hunting toys. So I just need the yellow and pink. Again, same as the Battle Borgs. I'm not rushing out, throwing money at anyone who's got one. But if anyone come up cheap or find my way to me, I will pick them up. So, that is pretty much the kind of bits and bobs that I got. And I did treat myself to a sort of Christmas present to myself. Now, I wasn't going to spend much money this... Make some space. I wasn't going to spend much money. But 
I got tipped off by another seller that these were there and that people can move on price which was good for me um, and they were they're very nice people uh, Owens Collectibles I think they were called Owens Toys uh, they're in the video you, you obviously you saw me buy them um, really nice people so it was really nice meeting you and thanks for doing me a fantastic deal they are a full set carded Ninja Rangers from the Power Ranger film and obviously season three now these are cool so again like I said these don't come you, you find them everywhere like loose missing their weapons I think these are them, probably one of the more common rangers everyone seems to be selling there's another Tommy the White Ranger there but a full set on card I couldn't turn down they were 120 they managed to do me a great deal and knock them down to 95 quid for me for the lot again this is all my own stuff these figures aren't being resold. Just gonna wait on that one. So you got the Black Ranger. So yeah, nice. Uh, again, a bit of a uh, something that was unexpected, but cool. Again, like a little Christmas present to myself. And there you go. You got the Red Ranger there. But again, they don't cart very often. They did me a fantastic deal on them so I couldn't turn them down couldn't say no so thank you very much they're going to go in the collection um, so I've got them, most of these open anyway but to have them boxed is fantastic um, so yeah there you go the NEC Toy Fair Birmingham you find cool stuff like this from your Power Rangers to your Predators to your Ghostbusters braces so yeah um, Vic picked up a cute a uh, couple of cool things which was uh, nice um, managed to get a cool Tomb Raider um, statue from the game and a uh, witch blade figure which was cool which you saw in the video so that was nice good good hunting skills from her I'm teaching her well um, so yeah right well that is it I hope you enjoyed the video um, I may be doing heading down to Totten Toy Fair on the 6th of January, money depending. Um, that's really all money and time. Um, if I head down there, but if I, you are selling down there or you're going there, just drop in a comment meeting up. I'll let you know if I'm going down there. Other than that, it will be uh, toy hunting in America towards the end of January with me and Andy from Andy's Toys and Models. Can't wait for that. Two of us going out there, pure toy hunting. We're hitting up a uh, Orlando Toy and Comic Con, as well as going to flea markets out there and doing the old Walmart target runs. So that's cool, can't wait for that. And I think my next selling fair will be at the NEC in February, February 10th, which is the next NEC. And hope and that will be the NEC that I'll be selling at. So hopefully we'll have a lot of wares there from America, plus all the stuff that I've been picking up that I am willing to sell. So guys, thank you very much. Cheers for watching. Uh, please hit the like, please subscribe, it means a lot. Thank you all for the support this year. I started the YouTube channel uh, back in July and I think there's nearly 170 subscribers. It's amazing. Thank you. So thank you for everyone watching. But please like and subscribe and let's build it and let's make a bigger, let's, uh, let's try and double it, triple it for next year. Anyway guys, happy hunting yourselves and I'll catch you later. Bye.